All right. Um, so I had a request to do an ear, um, or how to get a more detailed ear. So what I'm going to do is I'll I, I just normally I start with a little four or a two by three box here, um, and then what I'll do is of course we turn it into our editable poly, and let's just start by grabbing some of the verbs. Now an ear is kind of like a uh, the best way I can explain it is like a lima bean. Um, so I usually just arch it like so. And uh, maybe kind of more like an. Yeah, more, it's more like a lima bean or a, a pill shape on the outside, but it's a lima bean on the inside. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, so what I do is, and this of course is way too thick for an ear, uh, we're just going to shrink that a little bit. So with uh, with an ear, um, if you look from the side, we're going to do it from the side here first. So if you look from the side, the, f the first thing that you're going to have is we're going to just cut into our, our existing shape here. Alright, so what we're going to do is um, you know, let's start out with with uh, cutting our initial shape here. Now the ear, um, this is usually what we do is we cut here, here, and here, and it creates this curly cue. So all I'm doing is I'm going around the ear like so, okay. And then on the bottom, it as it comes down. It also comes out, if that makes sense. So generally it's something long like this. And then here it comes up and then it comes out like this. So that's that's your first shape of the ear. The second shape of the ear is you have kind of a Y in here. And I'll I'll show you that in a second. So I generally cut the Y out. So, and cut that like so, and just because I hate quads. Okay, so this is your general shape of your ear. All right, and I, I know it. It uh, this looks really weird because we've got draw lines drawn all over, and so it. it it doesn't make sense right now, but we're gonna make it make sense. So the first thing that I do is I generally draw and get rid of my quads. Okay, and oops, I don't know what that was, but so I, I generally draw and and uh, get rid of my quads here. So let's just go in there. So, all right, and then let's uh, come in here, cut this out, and I'm going to just check my quads. All right, so then let's cut this one out, and this one, and this one, and let's cut this out a little bit more. And let's cut this one up here. And let's cut this down like so. And get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. that out. Alright, now I, I'm okay with a couple quads, so I'm just gonna start uh, modeling this. Alright, so let's, um, let's clean this up real quick here. Yeah, this and this, I'm gonna collapse real quick. And then I've got an issue here, which I'm gonna just collapse real quick. And 
That dumps those. Let's get rid of that one real quick. Collapse that. Just make sure I didn't collapse the back side. And let's take these two out. And let's cut. Okay. Alright, so for the most part, this is actually pretty decent. Alright, so here is... Let's take a look at it. And here's the, the main pieces of the year. Okay, so you've got your curve here. And that that's going to be extruded. You've got a loop, which we've, we're going to have to play with a little bit here, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's let's do the loop first. Okay, so the first part, we're going to do the loop. Actually, you know what? We're going to just grab all this, and I will scale it in a little bit. And we're going to form this too after we're done. So. So the first part is the loop. So the loop comes down like so, and pretty much um, is the base of the ear, and it comes up like so. So what we're going to do first is we are going to extrude this out, okay, like so. The second part I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this here, and I'm going to extrude this out. Right to be pretty close to the other one. Then we're gonna go in and we are going to kind of pull these apart here. And we're gonna go into edge mode and I'm gonna hit delete and delete. So I'm gonna delete these insides here. And we're just going to collapse these two together. Okay, that's going to give you a really nice um, uh, kind of groove there. Then here, we're going to grab this and we're going to separate these two. All right, and we're going to go into the face mode again and we're going to delete these two faces. And that is going to allow us to collapse these outer ones here. And there's a reason for that. I'll show you in a second. And then these smaller pieces here, we are going to, let's grab this one. Just separate these two. So I'm going to grab this and this one here. And I'm going to pull this actually downward. And what we're going to do is we are going to collapse those two together. And so that's basically our, our first ear shape right there. Then what we're going to do, so you know, you can all, if uh, I turn the NERMS on, you can already start seeing the, uh, the ear start starting to take place. So there's there's our first shape. Then what you're gonna do is you are going to go into your face mode here and let's grab this here and we are going to extrude that not as much actually let's undo this let's bevel that so out but not as much, and then we're going to extrude that downward a little bit. Okay, so we've got this now, and um, so that's our, our inner ear. Now, with the bevel, it did cause a little bit of an issue here. Um, we just have to kind of extrude this outward like so. In fact, if we want to clean this up, we can just grab this one 
backspace this one and cut to there. And that's going to be a much better shape. So that is your initial kind of your initial curving shapes that you're, you have going on. Okay. So now what that did was by extruding the outer edge, what we can do now is we can go in and uh, grab this and we can loop it. Now, being that we started out with a box, it won't loop all the way. So we got to just kind of go in and select. And the first thing that it, you're going to do is just scale this outward. All right, and that'll round up round up your shape a little bit more. Now the next thing too is we're gonna have to eventually cut the back side off, but um, so you can attach it to the head. Um, but what we're gonna do is start by forming the base shapes here of your of your object. All right. And this is really what it, the, the whole ear is about. Now, I'm going to try and keep this low poly so that we can, um, so you can still get the base shape, but you can keep keep working on it. Let's see here. All right. So now, this part here, um, this is where this part here actually comes downward a little bit more. And this part here, let's go move inward a little bit more. All right. And so what we're doing is we're just kind of um, starting to form this in there. Now, um, one of the things is you're going to have an inner edge here. So you almost have to cut, and it's it's kind of a pain in the butt to cut. So let's do a, let's see if ring will do it. Yeah, ring did it just fine. All right, so ring, we ring in there, and let's connect by one. And then we're going to go into face mode again, grab these inner uh, faces, delete those. Let's do the same thing for this section here. Delete those. And um, let's grab this one and this one and delete those. Then what we can do is we can collapse this in here and uh, oops just exported moded collapse Close two, and then let's collapse these two like so. And so basically, that is the start of the inner ear. And again, it's just basically a matter of going through, and you know, you're going to start cutting, you know, your shapes around on this side here. And I'm not worried about the back side right now. Um, but then you can grab these shapes here, like so, and start by creating the curves that you need. And the big thing is to try and get as many quads out of the, the ear as possible. Um, you know, like, like right here, what I would do is I would just move this over a little bit more. Like so, and take this inner ring here and start moving it inside the ear, and that'll give you the uh, kind of that inside loop, if you will, 
of the ear that you you kind of want and that'll give you the the 3d aspect of your ear too so you're really grabbing oops you're really grabbing your inside of your ear and kind of moving it up in there and that'll give you that that aspect of so of that now if you're having issues now this right here this part of the ear what we need to do is you'll need to and it's kind of cut inside like so and by cutting inside that gives us the ability to pretty much move this one edge out and the one edge in and that gives you that overlapping look of your your ear okay and that's really what it's about it's just you know get some photo reference of an ear take a picture and uh, go in there and pretty much start cutting up and and uh, creating your quads and and going through and And then basically it boils down to cutting in the ear. And uh, you know, you can bring this in, pull this out, and you'll get your nice, nice style of ear. Now, when that's all done, what you want to do, and I've this is the easiest way I've found to do it, is when you're all done with, you know, making your ear, um, put a bend modifier on there. There's the bend modifier, and then uh, let's, uh, see if we have enough here. And bending it just a hair will give you a little bit of the curve that you need and you can pretty much attach it to the ear. Um, and again, it just it boils down into, um, you, know, you can collapse this in there. Um, but that'll give you the, the bend that you need. And it's pretty much just working around and, and curving your ears. And again, just go in and make some really nice quads. Um, you know, I might be able to just cut this down here. You know, cutting this down here, that's going to create a nice, uh, a nice quad for you. Um, you know, so it's it's pretty much that's what it's all about. It's just taking taking your time and shaping it out like any other thing you do. All right, I hope that helps.